Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus NiCl2. This is potassium carbonate plus nickel 2 chloride. So the first thing we need to do when we write net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see two potassium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a 2 in front of the KCl. That balances the potassiums. We have two chlorines. We have two chlorines here. That's good a nickel and a nickel, and then we have a carbonate ion and a carbonate ion. So this is the balanced molecular equation. <laughs> now we can write the states for each substance. That looks like this. Compounds with potassium, they're very soluble. And then compounds with the chloride ion, also very soluble. So these three substances here, they'll be soluble, split apart into their ions. We say they're aqueous. Carbonates in general are insoluble, with a few exceptions like potassium carbonate and sodium carbonate. So the nickel carbonate, though, that's insoluble. It's going to be a solid. These two substances react here. This falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate since it's solid. Those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And we're not going to split solids apart in net ionic equations. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I have two of these potassium ions. Down here in the products, I have two potassium ions. Spectator ions, we cross them out. Two chloride ions in the reactants and two chloride ions here in the products. These are spectator ions, we can cross them out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus NiCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium carbonate and nickel 2 chloride. You'll note charge is balanced. We have 2 plus and 2 minus. That gives us a net charge of 0. Over here, the nickel 2 carbonate, that's a neutral compound, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.